What are we going to do today? I want to test whether a glass of water can dissolve any amount of sugar. What's there to check? Quite a lot of sugar can be dissolved in a glass of water. I don't think so. Okay then, go ahead and test it. We shall find out the truth. This glass contain water while this bowl has sugar. Only this much sugar. Bring some more. Let this much sugar get dissolved in the water first. Then I will bring some more. Okay, let's start. Put a spoonful of sugar into the water, miss. See, a spoon full of sugar completely dissolved in a glass of water. Wait, we shall add more sugar now. Miss, keep adding more sugar in the glass. No, the sugar is not dissolving in the water anymore. Exactly. This is what I was telling you. So it means that if we take fixed quantity of water, only a fixed quantity of sugar can be dissolved in it. Not just sugar. Any dissolving substance will have a fixed quantity that will dissolve in a given fixed quantity of water. That means things like salt, baking soda, etc. will also have a fixed quantity that dissolve in water. Yes, if you want, Shall we try this test with some other dissolvable substance? Hey, if we do all the work, what will our friends do then? Friends, try this test with the other dissolvable substance and do. Tell us your experiences in the comment section below. Okay, now tell me what would you call this solution when sugar cannot be dissolved anymore in the water? When sugar dissolved in water, a solution was created. So what else would you call it other than a solution? It will be a solution when any substance dissolve in it. But when that substance cannot dissolve further, then it is known as saturated solution. Saturated solution? Hmm, this means that when no more sugar can be dissolved in a glass of water, the solution is now known as saturated solution. Correct. <laughs> hey, you were right this time. But don't forget, I will surely win the next time round.